Hello, welcome to United Charismatic Healing Ministry, and this is your regular host, Pastor Eddie Cochran. Thanking God for your life and for your family, and for your ministry, and for your children, praying that all that God has for you will come to you in Jesus' mighty name. I want to continue what I started last time, assurance of answered prayer, that we will be confident in the fact that God is a prayer answering God. That when you're calling on God, don't ever be devastated because you're not getting the result that we do, you desire. Keep praying. And in His time, He makes all things beautiful. In His time, not in our time. There are things I wish God had done 10 years ago, but it hasn't been done yet. But I will not stop praying about them. I'll keep praying and trusting the Lord that in His time, He will make it beautiful. Amen. God bless you mightily. In the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15, it says, And this is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. And if we know that He hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of Him. So this is a confidence. This is one of the confidence we have. Amen. That if we have that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, so your prayers have to be lined up with God's will. If it's not in line with God's will, then God is not obligated to answer those prayers. I heard a story once about a lady who, who was crazy about Kenneth Copeland. Even though Kenneth Copeland was married to his wife, this woman felt like Kenneth Copeland was her soulmate. And one of these days, Kenneth Copeland would just come by and sweep her off her feet and marry her. That, that, that prayer would not go anywhere. Because Kenneth Copeland is already married. <laughs> so when you pray in line with those things, then you are praying and miss God's will. Amen. You are praying and miss God's will. But if you pray in line with his will, he says, he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. So even if you're looking for a husband, looking for a wife, pray in that area that God opened my eyes to find the wife that I'm looking for. And the Bible says, if you find that wife, you will obtain favor before God. So pray that God will open your eyes to identify the one He has chosen for you, the right woman for you, the bone of your bones and the flesh of your flesh. Amen. It is important for us to, to have that assurance that God answers prayer. Says, and this is the confidence that we have in Him. We have this assurance. We have this confidence. We are fully persuaded that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if He hears us, He will answer us. Because He says, call and I will answer. You see, God cannot go against His word. He says, I will look to my word to perform. So as you go to God in His word or with His word, He has no reason but to hear your prayer and to answer them. Because this is His will. And you're going to him back with his will, standing on his will, and he will cause his will to come to pass. Praise the Lord. It is so necessary for us. In John chapter 15, verse 7, it says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. One of the things that we can do to make sure that we line up properly according to the will of God so that our prayers can be answered is when we abide in Him. How do you abide in God? Abide in His Word. And allow the Word of God to dwell in you. It says, if you do that, whatsoever you will ask, your desires shall be granted. God will honor your will. He will honor the desires of your heart. He will bring them to pass in the name of Jesus. But you have to allow the word of God to dwell in you. And you have to dwell in the word. Abide in the word. Keep, keep the word before your eyes. 
Keep the word before your ears. Hear the word. Read the word. Study the word. Meditate on the word. Let this word have an have a, a planting in you. Have a root cause in you. Because as we study God's word, as we read God's word, as we meditate on what we have read, as we meditate on what we have studied, then it begins to sink into our inner mind. Then the word abides in us. And when the word of God abides in us, whatever we ask according to his will, he always hears us and he always answers us. Praise the Lord. In Mark chapter 11 verse 24, so therefore I say to you, whatever things you, you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Believe that you receive them and you will have them. The key to this answer prayer, that whatsoever you will ask, whatsoever you will ask when you pray, believe that you have received them and you will have them. When the believing comes, then the, the, the manifestation comes. You have to believe you have received them. Some other men of God will say this way, see it and you will receive it. See it with the eyes of faith and it will come to pass. See it in the spirit realm and it will come to the physical realm. Believe with all your heart that you have what you have asked. And God will honor your prayer. Because he, 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 he doesn't want to He doesn't want you to fail in the place of prayer. But He wants you to have that confidence, that inner assurance, that when you call upon Him, He will answer you. In John chapter 16, verse 23. John chapter 16, verse 23. He says, and in that day you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. He will give it to you. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Praise the Lord. I'm, 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 I'm getting blessed just, just sharing these things because I've seen him done it over and over and over and over and over. I'm not telling you anything that is, that is fantasy. I'm not telling you anything that is out of the blue. I'm telling you things that I have seen happen in my life. And God has heard my prayer and God has answered my prayers. And God has come through. There are many things He hasn't answered yet. But I know He's not forgotten about my prayers. He's still working behind the scenes, bringing them to pass. Because one thing I have learned, known of the Lord, there's a timing for everything. God has a timing for everything in our lives. You see, when Adam failed in the Garden of, Get uh, Garden of Eden, God could have brought His Son the next day to redeem man mankind. But He has a timetable when his son was going, to, was going to come on it. So it took 4,000 years for that to happen. And he waited 4,000 years before he brought his son on the scene. Praise the Lord. So if it's not happening yet, don't think God will not answer. God will answer in his time. He has a timetable for your blessing. He has a timetable for your breakthrough. He has a timetable. He has promised to answer your prayer. So wait for Him. In due time, in His time, He will make all things beautiful for you. Praise the Lord. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, it says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Let's come boldly to the throne room of grace, God's presence. And He will meet us at the point of our needs. Hallelujah. That we may obtain mercy and obtain grace in times of need. His grace is available. His mercy is available. 
even as we call upon him even as we come into his presence even as we come to the throne of grace boldly he said he will grant us these things you need the lord to have mercy upon you you need the lord to give you a breakthrough you need the lord to show forth his grace upon your life come 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 boldly to the throne room of grace and you will obtain that which you desire i can assure you enough i can stay your faith up enough that god is not a man to lie neither the son of man to repent what god says is well able and is more than capable of bringing his word to pass in your life amen in psalm 37 verse 4 it says delight yourself also in the lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart how do you delight yourself in the lord when the things of god brings you joy when you are happy being the presence of the lord david said it this way i was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the lord he says i was glad going to the house of the lord so when you delight yourself in the lord he says he will grant you the desires of your heart be there when it's prayer time be there when it's worship time be there when it's teaching time be there when it's prayer time be there be enthused about the things of god delight yourself in the things of god and he will grant you the desires of your heart in jesus mighty name it is my prayer that the lord will brood over you and move over you and cover you completely in the blood of Jesus Christ and grant you the desires of your heart make a way for you where there's no way and open doors that have been shut before you but he that can open the door and no man can shut and when he shuts a door no man can open it is my prayer that he open those doors that have been shut before you doors of blessing doors of prosperity doors of breakthroughs doors of victory doors of overcoming the adversity in your life in the name of Jesus may the Lord open those doors before you and grant you access into his presence may God the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you may he lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace and may the peace of God that transcends all understanding be your portion from today till eternity in Jesus mighty name amen and amen God bless you. I'll see you soon.